This video is sponsored by Christoph Frey for excellent Poly Horror Games. Check the link in the description below for some of his works. Previously on Arya. All right, Boggs. Now we are. Oh God. Thank you. And so the journey continues. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to Aria. I know, I know, I'm actually wearing white. Uh, it's laundry day, um, and also, you can't see it on the Trilby cam, but I'm actually, this shirt actually has a little bonfire on it, so... It's kind of Dark Soulsy in a way. Anyway, uh, so when we last left off um, our weird motley crew of strange people, uh, we finished a Rama's chapter, and there's definitely some signs pointing to possibly uh, offspring or something like that that's in the hospital. I'm, I mean, we're only on chapter 6 out of 10, um, so we're back at part 2, I guess we could say, of Boone. Also noticed a typo, possibly. Uh, it said shoe in chapter... There's our phone. Shoe in chapter 3, but also... And it's a shoe in this one. So I'm not sure if it's a typo or something with a script change. I don't know. Uh, as always, if anybody does know how to speak or translate Thai, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. This is this is back. In the, we're back. Is this the prologue? I feel like yeah, well, the prologue or Marissa's first part. I don't know. In some familiar settings, we do have a note. Dear Rama, I'm very sorry to hear about the loss of your daughter. My condolences. About what happened at the car park, you have to stay quiet about this. The fact that there was someone who jumped off the building is already causing enough trouble. Your boss. Wait. So, Rama... Okay, so we... This was confirmed. Rama does have a daughter, hence the daddy that was mentioned in the last part. Uh, so, she died in the car park? Okay, how old was she? Because, I mean, she seemed pretty young in the last chapter, but, like, you know, Silent Hill style. Okay, so I suspect we have to go that way, but naturally, let's just see how many collectibles we can grab. We can't do anything here, okay. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Once again, the sound effect is really what does it for me. The graphics can be kind of hit or miss with a couple of bugs hither and thither, but overall, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Hopefully y'all are as well. And hopefully you guys aren't too creeped out or disgusted by, you know, my ugly mug on Trilby Cam, but... Once again, let me know if you want to see more of the Trilby Cam or not, and I'll always stop if need be. Okay. This is the building those people fell down from. It was on national news. Thanks, Boone. I mean, we just saw the note. But may okay, so maybe this is the car park where the guy jumped and possibly something happened to Rama's daughter? Gwen forbid. Uh, and I do want to apologize um, if I do seem a little more snarky or the Lloyd voice comes out in a little more full force tonight. Um, I was actually really hesitant to record just because I am not in the greatest of shape, you know, up here. Uh, just, it's been a few frustrating days with a lot of blind sides and just... Mm, just kind of wanted to do nothing, but this game caught, sucked me back in, so I really wanted to get back into it, so... Um, yeah, so if I do seem a little snarkier than usual, well, now y'all know why. Uh, I'm just trying to move on past a few things. Uh, Boogie Knight, you're always moving on past a few things. Lloyd, I've talked about it already. Uh, we do have something over here, though. Maybe. Nope, just a drinking fountain. Uh, we don't have a reflection in the, uh, thing, in the puddle. Damn. Be lost? Or be lost? I don't know. Uh, nope. Oop. Dick and playing Paranormal Hong Kong again. Like, not Kathy's gonna come popping out of nowhere. Uh, nothing around here? Okay. So we do have to go down the ramp. 
Just wanted to kind of complete my circuit before you. Well, we do have a door here first. Let's take a look. Uh, you okay there, Boone? There we go. You okay there, mate? Like we're dropping down a level. Okay, so we can't access the door, so ramp we go. Maybe we're going down the curb. There it is. There's kind of the night sky. I'm, I dig that a lot. The subtle streams of the moonlight coming in. Do we actually... So we can't really get a glimpse of the moonlight. We must be directly under, judging by right there. Um, once again, my only real beef is that the chase scenes at the end of each part become are a little bit predictable. Now, I mean, Boone hasn't dealt with uh, Jit yet. I don't know if he will. I suspect he probably will, though. Boone, what did you do? Uh, it sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Or over, no, it's coming around over there. Before we do that, let's just kind of get a cursory look and see if there's anything we can pick up. This is so good about the flashlight. I think this is one of my... Next to the... Yeesh. Next to the sound effects, I think the flashlight is one of my favorite features just because it's not blinding. It gives off just enough light for you to see your surroundings. But it still makes it difficult... Uh, see if there's anything creeping around, which adds to the level of fear factor and ambience. Okay, it's, it's probably above me. Or not, that's cool too. Thank you. I guess the battery finally ran out. Okay, I thought I heard breathing for a minute. No, but we do have two notes. Achievement unlocked truth seeker. Yeah, you know, that's boom for you. A newspaper article saying heartbroken students commit suicide in a hospital parking lot. Is that Rama's daughter? Bank account book from someone. All the information is unreadable. Great. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I did this instead of um, Survive the Blackout tonight. It's because Survive the Blackout has a lot of reading, as y'all know. Okay, uh... Is there anything else I missed besides these two notes? Can we go down another level, or do we have to go back the way we came? And I know there's probably some Lloyd in the comments like, oh, boogie nice, it's nice that we don't see your face, but it's too dark there. Look, Lloyd, I don't have, I mean, if I turn on the overhead lamp, I'm going to be pretty blinded. Like, that's the one side effect of LASIK I am not happy about, is being a little bit on the light-sensitive side. Yes, I got LASIK. What was it? <sighs> Almost 20 years ago. Okay, so nothing here, so we do have to go back up the way we came. Unle nope, hang on, we're going even further downhill. I'm at the old building. Hello? Hello? Methinks Chu is a little bit on the unreliable side. But no, I mean, I, I might get a small light or like a desk lamp or something, but for now, you got the light over there. You probably can't see it, but you got my oil diffuser just over that way. But now you know more about me than probably care to know. Okay. Uh, I think we can go in that door because it's lit up. But before we do that, let's see what we can find. So we can't go around. See anything though? Doesn't look like it. Unless, can we creep around the back? Yes, we can. Let's go. 
Was it worth it? Probably not. <clears throat> Bupkis L. Grande. Okay. Oh, hello. There's something. Oh. That same oh. guy is still hitting on me. I don't think he can take on a bipolar girl like me. Marissa still warns me about him. She told me that Sorn gave her the same creepy feeling, like that character from the movie American Psycho. <laughs> P.S. A street fortune teller stopped me. He told me to stay away from any new encounters. Nice. Um... Wait, hang on. So there's this Arya note next to this noose. Is Rama Arya's father? I mean, I, it said ploy in the last one, but I mean, I'm probably jumping to conclusions right now, but we have an Arya note right next to that. That, strangely enough, has stayed there after how many years? No. Sorry, itchy head. It's hotter than Satan's asshole outside. Still kind of sweaty from today's activities. Not like that, you friggin' sickos. Was supposed to rendezvous with Silver Dark, but that fell through. Okay. Don't tell me, we're already at the end of chapter six. No, okay, no... <clears throat> no achievement unlocked, so I think we're still... Hey, We're back in. Okay... You know what, let's humor me for a second, let's just see if we can... Uh, of course we can't. That's fine, I was just curious. Where are we? Well, I mean, I guess this is the building that Chu or Shu or not either or. Wait, blood donation? Is this Rama's neck of the woods? Didn't we see this in Rama's first chapter? I think so. Aw, no welcome, Matt. We're not welcome here in this bog. Alright, fine. Be that way. Nope. Okay. No photography. <laughs> Too late. Boone's already been doing that last time in Chapter 3. Uh, I'm guessing this probably means waiting. I mean, I'm extrapolating here, but we do have a note. Oh. It's a, a jerk with a smoke this time. The people on the boat were in dismay. Surely an unlucky person yeah, was the one to blame for the situation. To find the person, responsible fate was put in a lucky draw. The fate of the wealthy son seemed grim, however, as he was deemed unlucky three times in a row. So... He get kicked overboard? I mean, that would be the Vipaka. From a Buddhist perspective. This is, okay, never mind, they're just all corralled. I thought for a second, like, they were waiting for somebody to appear. That would have been creepy. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on a limb and says this is, like, waiting area or lounge or something of that extent. Okay... A little too quiet for my taste. I swear if Jit appears, though, before the end of this chapter, I will roll my eyes. Okay, anything else in the bogs? I'm still like that. Please do not place your feet on the toilet seat. Oh my god, you're pretty to near nerd. I don't know where that voice came from. Side effect of hanging out. 
Oh, who the fuck? Boom, what the hell are you doing here? Rama, it's good to see you. Please help me. Don't tell me you're doing something stupid like hunting for ghosts. Okay, I won't tell you then. That's enough. Some people have gone crazy here, and they're going to kill each other. We need to call the police. What? Kill? What the hell is going on with this place? There are ghosts and killers? Is that a woman screaming? What do you think? Yeah, you have to hurry. I'll go help her. Okay, okay. But where's the exit? Go straight that way. Then you go down the stairs, the door will be open. After this shit is over! Okay. Please don't tell my dad about this! Boone. Hang on. So Rama's... Rama knows about Marissa? Well, okay, well, I take that back. He did try to free Marissa before Jit showed up. Okay, so that part is clarified. I love how Rami's like, okay, well, uh, you go do something else, I'm gonna go free Marissa, instead of, you know, maybe call the cops on the phone that you're holding? Gwen's breath Boone. Yeah, I think Boone is easily my least favorite character so far. He's like the village idiot. How to see you guys part two. Form a passage between your legs and look through the opening. Yeah, I think I did that a lot when I was a kid. Use an umbrella during a rainless night. Look at your reflection in a mirror during the midnight hour. Collect the soil of a graveyard and put it on your eyelids? Who wrote this? Okay, the graveyard thing... I can f kind of imagine that. Look at your reflection in a mirror... Mm, subject to debate. Look through the opening in the passage between your legs. How many times have we done that as kids? Shit. Oh, hang on. There's somebody up there. Looks like a frog. So we're going to avoid it right now, and we're going to go to the bog. That thing's not going anywhere. Hopefully not. There was something there. Yep. Oh, hello. Uh, what went on in here? I will resist making fart jokes. All right. The uh, boogie nets resisting a pun. Yeah, I told you, Lloyd, I'm not in a good mood. Okay. Go on, then. Oh, wait, is that shit? Or was that the character from Audition? Y'all ever see that movie? That ain't fun. Wait. Hey, huh? Huh? You got some, it looks like rice, a couple of oranges, and a drink of some kind. Oh no. I predicted chase scene. And we gotta vault over those wheelchairs. God, when that. Oh, hello. How to see you guys part three? Play hide and seek during the night. Been there, done that. Invite a spirit to dine with you. Haven't done that. Sprinkle the tear of a black dog on your eyelid. Never done that. Not sure how that would work. Is it usually black cats that have kind of the thing going on? Invite a spirit to dine with you. I feel like Boone wrote these one night and he's just like, hey, 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 hey. How to see a ghost nerd? And where did Race Bannon 2.0 crawl off to? Okay. Can't go down there. Oop. Is there anything? No. Okay. 
Game saved. That means chase scene. Possibly. Maybe? I guess we'll find out. That works okay for me, just because OBS crashed a couple of times in previous nights and I had to restart. Wait. Oh, this doesn't bode well. What is going on here? Is that a... What was in the last episode? Was that a Kuman Thong? The offerings are being left out. And incense. Is that our incense from the ritual? The chew? Hey, ooh. Okay, those are just... Are those blood on the chopsticks? Or just a saw? No, there's blood going on here. Something's been summoned. I think it was the wrong thing. I mean, we did see evidence of a Kumon Thong trying to be summoned. I know that's what the end game is, at least with Jit. Uh, well, let's check that out. No, we have to. Bathrooms. Yep, always bathrooms. I mean, we've gotten lucky so far in a couple of the bogs. There's a gang symbol. Just explore the floor, okay. Do we take more pictures of this stuff? Yes, we do, apparently. To what event? A... That we already did all... No! <clears throat> what, are you... I thought for a second they were bl it was blinking at me. Uh, you again? You... Look, I offered you a chance to get in the elevator and... Your eyes actually are shifting back and forth. And you brought some buddies to the party. That's great. Okay, the shifty eyes thing, that is good. Creepy as hell, but good. Okay, I'm going to turn around. There's be another one. Nope. They're all just waiting outside the other bathroom because apparently they're all creepers. Great. Now, here's the quandary. If I didn't go down here, would they have appeared if I just went through the other door? Or am I going to get... Good lord. How many of them are here? I'm just going to... There we go. And, of course... Um, that's cool. So you were locked. Is this we locked too? Yes, it is. So where do the muscle skeletons come into play for Boone? Okay, there's another ritual. Okay, I'm predicting a chase with that crawly thing. All right, in for penny, in for pound. Let's do this. The hell was that? Something loud was outside. The waiting area. Building up to the inevitable, I guess, at this point. Oh, I thought there was a note there. There is a note there, though. And a key, maybe? Before we do that, hang on. Let's grab this note. Uh, on the island, the sun saw a view unlike any he had seen before. In his sight was a non... but beauty. In his sight was no... oh, was non but beauty. Not with beauty. As lush gardens filled with elegant flowers and trees filled with ripe, juicy fruit decorated the land. 
At the golden beach that circled the island, the wealthy Sun Tzu woman, or women, dancing. The dancing figures were draped with vibrant colored dresses, and the hair of the woman were decorated with a lotus, making the sight of each more special than he could have ever imagined. So, like, sirens, maybe? Mm, clearly, I missed a note. This is probably what I was looking for. A map left by Chu saying, use the key to open the door and get a ceremonial candle. Okay. More incense. Another faceless figure. Okay, a lot of faceless figures. I was expecting um, the statues to be back. Kind of glad they kept that jump scare just for there. I'll stay put. Nope. Are these doors? There's only one door here. Is it this one? There it is. Another waiting area? Okay. There's a clicking sound somewhere. Oh joy! The beautiful island was not the paradise as it seemed to him. The land was an unholy place reserved for the purpose of, com of punishing any who had committed sin towards their parents in the form of hurting or killing. Okay, so we did miss a note about the rich man being thrown to the island. I mean, I mean, unless it was just implied. I mean, kind of sucks that I missed it, but it, it's nice to know that you can kind of put the pieces together. That one note doesn't completely nerf the entire lore. We do have another note here, though. Not even the lotus and the woman's hair women's were what they see, seen, but the flower was a blade engraved and circular in shape that decorated the head of the Prade? Prade? Not sure. These monsters became as such because of a sin they committed as a human. It's very Dante-esque. The sin of killing one's parent left the soul scattered and mangled the body to become a Prade oneself. Hang on. Prade? Prade? Trade. Bear with me one second. Y'all can probably figure what I'm trying to look up right now. And that would be a Prade or Prada. Maybe it's even something similar to a Prita. I don't know. No, 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 no. Place in Slovenia. That's not what I'm looking for. Apparently my signal is not working. Okay, um, in which case, after this, I will see if I can look up more information on the Prade or Prade. Once again, I wonder if it is something similar to a Prita, hence the long, shaggy hair that we saw at the end of Episode 3. Or Chapter 3? Well, Chapter Episode, there's the... Okay, so that is, I'm guessing, the Prade, Prade, the demon that starts with a P. Okay, can we go down here now? No, we can't. Do we stick the candle here then? Before we do that, set my water. Okay, it's still capturing okay. I, I still get a little nervous sometimes. Where does it go? Don't do me dirty like this again, game. Oh, there it is. Now what? Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Really? Okay. 
Oh! I don't want to regret this, but... Nope, never mind. I don't want to get too close to them. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was good. Well done. Cleverly done, I approve. Now we can go through this door. Before we get assaulted. Probably. Another waiting area. Hello. The wealthy son was overcome by the flower's beauty. He desired it for himself. As he approached the object, his admiration for it only grew. And there is... It's, it's gotta be... Okay? An anim a graphics glitch, I guess. Okay... Or the game just save. Here we go. Oop. Yeah, there, there's some mi minor graphical glitches I'm having a little bit of. That's lovely. As he put the lotus on his head, its true nature struck him, literally. The blade sliced his skull, cutting the bone and digging into his flesh in retribution for the son's sin. The sin of striking his mother and killing her in doing so. Oh, no tears, please. Such a waste of good suffering. Only Ray is allowed to judge me on my pinhead impersonation. Yep. Okay. I... Okay. Yeah. We are... Being chased by the project. Okay, we've got a step to go. Go, Sonny Mania. <sighs> Whoop the hell. What? Oh, uh, nope. <gasps> Death number two. What the hell? We jumped and it kicked us back. I feel like we got stuck on something. Go! to Marissa. Okay. <clears throat> so we are at the bottom of an elevator shaft?
Okay, so... I need to get out of here. This place is it's too dangerous. Okay, y'all, so this is as good of a place as any to stop now that we finished Chapter 6. We are just tearing through this game. And despite a few small hitches here and there, I'm enjoying it. And once again, hopefully y'all are as well. Um, what do you like about this game? What don't you like? What do you think of the animation? What do you think of the creep factor, the audio? Let me know in the comments below. I do read every comment, and I try to reply to every comment. Uh, as always, a big thank you to Christoph Frey for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project. Uh, if you like low poly Hargans, an emphasis on character development, storyline, ambience, fear factor, check him out. Links in the description below as well. I guarantee you, you will not be let down. Uh, so with that being said, before I call it, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily defunct Twitch page. Um, and if you are do we want to do more for the Boogie Night Project, or if you're just morbidly curious in more, uh, I do have a Patreon where for as little as $1 a month, you get access to exclusive content such as the patron-only section on my Discord, as well as patron-exclusive uploads. And the higher tiers include uh, taking patron requests for games to play. Currently working on a good one now, um, and I'll be working on an even better one as soon as I'm done with that. And just so you all know, all proceeds go towards getting my computer improved or eventually getting a new one but for now getting ram to see if that helps things further along either way i hope you'll have a fantastic night and i'll catch y'all on the flip side all right peace hey y'all while my gratitude knows no bounds for every single bit of love and support y'all have shown for me over the years there are a few people that i legitimately want to take a few minutes to thank for their unending help and support. Uh, first of all, obviously, Christoph Frey, not just for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project, but also for letting me use his music from Gava Transistor for in my streams, as well as him kind of coming up with his own little fragment for my new introduction to my, um, the Boogie Night Project. And speaking of introductions, the intro, as well as my YouTube banner page, um, were done by the amazing Oren. You might know him as Oren VDK, as well as Oren from Couple K. Cakes. Thank you so much, Oren. I really do appreciate the time you took to put together everything from the banner to the beautifully done introduction that merged perfectly with Kristoff's music from Gabba Transistor. So big thank you to them. And also, this would not be possible with the help of my extremely amazing patrons, both current and former, uh, such as Lexi Kitty, Silverleaf, Barry Grave, Harkov, Jure, Larian, and Oren, as well as a few others that have come and gone over the years. Y'all, this would not be possible without your help and your support. Um, I know I have not been able to provide much in the way of um, uh, giving back in Patreon rewards, but I am in the process of revamping my Patreon as well as the rewards that I can do, so be prepared. Um, I know I joke about it, uh, saying that if you're morbidly fascinating, check it out, but if you do want to give um, to the Boogie Night Project, that is the easiest way to do so, and I am legitimately setting aside funds to buy more hardware for my computer, as well as making things look more professional but once again, very big thank y'all to everybody who has supported me from the beginning all the way to the present, um, as well as those individuals that have gone out of their way to help. So once again, guys, thank you so much for all your constant love and support. My gratitude knows no bounds, and I'll catch you on the flip side. All right? Peace.